What's up guys? Today we are doing our review for the Sightmark Wraith Mini Thermal Rifle Scope. It's a pretty new thermal scope that Sightmark just released a couple months ago. We've had it almost uh, probably since a week or two after its release just playing around with it. Uh, doing some pest hunting, pest control, stuff like that. And it's been pretty fun. It's a great entry level scope compared to a lot of other ones. Even other scopes that are comparable stat wise to this, it is much more budget friendly. You're coming in at about a third or a fourth of what most of the other thermal scopes will be that are in that price range or in that quality level rather. It's got a 384 by 288 resolution. It's got five different color palettes or kind of thermal options that you can choose from. You got a standard white hot, black hot, a kind of rainbowy one, um, the kind of standard um, pink, blue, purple that a lot of them have, but then you also get a really cool fifth one that most of them, or I don't think any other ones have, which is like a night vision looking green on green. And that's a pretty neat one. It's fairly useful as well. You've got 10 different reticles that you can choose from, everything from a little dot to full-blown crosshairs, kind of like what we're using. Uh, you can also do nine different colors, so there's pretty much going to be something that fits for everybody there. You can save five different weapon profiles or different zeros. Um, so if you want to use it on one rifle, move it to another one, move it to another one. Especially with its built-in one-shot zero, very easy to just zero it out. With Typically, it's, it takes us anywhere from maybe three to five shots to get a really good precise zero on it. And then... If you have the quick disconnect mount, which I highly recommend, that will allow you to easily just move it to any rifles that you want and retain your zero, just swap over to that rifle's profile and you're good to go in a matter of seconds. Another bonus to the quick disconnect is that you can easily just take off the scope Use it as a scanning monocular when you're out in the field at night or scouting or whatever and then just instantly pop it back onto your rifle and you're good to go. It'll hold the zero, no issues whatsoever. It's absolutely fantastic. It runs off of two CR123A batteries. It's also got built-in video, photo, it records sound with the video, um, just on a micro SD card, and then you can plug it in with a uh, C port as well if you want to, you know, charge it, run it off a battery pack, or whatever. It's in the exact same housing as the Wraith Mini. Uh, the menu and everything is the same, so if you've got one of those, you'll be very familiar with it. You can pick it right up, get right into it. Uh, it fits very well as far as like a scouting monocular. Uh, fits in one hand easily. It's lightweight. It's a native 2x zoom, and then you can digitally zoom it up to 8 for a total of 16. About the only kind of downsides that we noticed with it is... The, uh, at the higher magnifications, you do kind of lose a bit of image quality just because of that little bit lower resolution. But if you're keeping it in 100, 150 yards, that shouldn't really be any kind of problem. And then you lose some video quality for some reason when transferring between the scope and your computer or whatever other device. Any of the images that are on our video here, when you're looking through the scope, it is higher quality. So when you're actually out hunting, 
it is better than what you'll see on any of the videos online. So in conclusion, I think this is a very solid pickup if you are looking to get into thermal or night hunting. It's definitely the most budget friendly option and it's a perfectly good piece of equipment. We've had a blast using it and hopefully we'll get to use it even more again soon. Bring you even more videos with it. If there's any other questions or comments or anything that we might have missed that you want us to answer, just leave us a comment and we'll see what we can do. Thanks for checking it out. Have a good one. If you like what you saw here today, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, and check out that Patreon.